I'm going to start with um, why I divorced Cora. What made me post what I posted? What made me emotionally lose control? And there's only one thing that can make me do that, and that's my kids. Um, and nothing else. So, many of you know, well, I divorced Cora because we got into an argument and Cora says things to hurt me sometimes and she repeatedly told me that she regretted June ever being born. And I asked her to stop saying that. And June was in my arms crying, and she repeatedly said it over and over again. And I called my mother, who will testify this in court, that she would kept saying it over and over and again. And I said, you can't say this to June so she understands what you're saying. June's crying. I attempted to take June out of the room, and I said, you can't be around your daughter if you're saying this type of stuff and she came across the room my mom's on the phone will testify this in court and ripped violently ripped June out of my hands and then and very close di dislocated June's shoulder the next that was when I posted online that I was divorcing my wife and I can't be treated this way anymore when I went live and said, say it again, it was that, that she regretted June being born. So fast forward, many of you reached out to me and I have talked to an attorney. I have talked to an attorney. I'm asked, and I can't see my kids right now and I'm asking for public support because I love my kids. Two days ago, many of you reached out to me and asked me to go get the kids because Cora was because because she was being negligent when when there when she was inside the sink. Um, there's a garbage disposal in that sink within reach of June's foot, so she was putting her foot in the sink, and there was a garbage disposal, and she could have easily mangled her foot. And then Athena was head was drooping, and she was like like getting her airway choked off and I communicated this and she ignored me. I called her, she hung up on me. So at legal counsel, I went and got my kids for the last two days to protect her because many of you were reaching out to me and saying that they were gonna call child services, which would not be the first time child services was called for negligence. So. I went and got my kids and explained to her why I was taking control of the kids. I was not withholding her, but I had no intention of keeping the kids from her. Today I had to work because we haven't found a nanny yet. And I asked her to watch the kids for a little bit. And she agreed. And I said, I will be taking the kids back to my, my house. And when I got there, her friends handed me a pile of papers and the police were there. Well, they showed up later. She falsely filed. So I can't see my kids for, it, it looks like a month because, because she's trying to hurt me. I love my kids in my life and um, men don't cry but I am just for my kids um, so yeah that's why I'm divorcing Cora because she used the kids to hurt me and I thought that was wrong and I didn't want Athena to go through the same things that June's endured the last few years so now, with this 
I'm going to, I was going to split custody with Cora, and now I'm taking full custody. I'm going to fight her.